short or long term concerns? Is it kind of day to day right now? Do you anticipate having them by the time you get? Yeah, we would anticipate. You can't really project uh, or predict the timelines right now. It's, it's hard to do that anyways. Everybody heals differently. But um, it, it'll be a little bit longer for Colin. Uh, but Thomas, hopefully, he's going to be able to do a little more every day. What is You mentioned Thomas went through two full practices in day one. Limited after that. Well, just, what just been able to do so um, Rehab. And then he started to get on the court. A little bit on Tuesday and more yesterday. No contact, five on no shooting drills, things like that. He started to do those shooting drills in, um, uh, after practice um, in Baltimore. But we're taking it really slow, and, and uh, it's, it's much more precaution than it is anything else. Is that an advantage in a longer preseason that when you have things like this that maybe aren't long term deals, but you just can be a little bit more cautious with them because you're not, you got the extra two weeks, you have a little bit more time to what kind of let a guy went through. Well, we've stayed on a schedule with our practices. Um, the most we've done is three days on, one day off. And I'm glad we did that, but this would give you the ability to, to work your practice schedule around your injuries if we needed to. So that's where the advantage would be in that situation. When you look at the Purdue program, yeah, what are your general thoughts on that program and the team that they have right now? I think with Purdue, with what they have experience-wise, with what they have on the front line, and as, as good as Caleb Swanigan is being built to be, I would think they'd be a legitimate contender for the national championship. Well, there's a question. I, mean, uh, I don't I don't pick who wins the league, but, but it'd be hard-pressed for me not to see them as one of the, the tops. I don't know anybody that's got the... And, and Johnny Hill is really good. You know, when Nick Zeisloff's played with him, Rob Johnson's coach, and we know he's a good player. And uh, when you look at the experience they have in their backcourt, to go with what they have on the frontcourt, not many programs have the luxury of having somebody like A.J. Hammonds that some were projecting to leave after year one or year two still be in college. So to me, they've got a front line that, uh, I, I think we've got a couple front lines in this league that are as good as any in the country. And I think the difference right now on paper going into the season, the upper echelon is going to be determined by the depth of the front lines. That's why our concerns are what they are. But, but uh, Purdue doesn't have those concerns from what I can see. Plus, Vince Edwards can play numerous positions. So they're well coached. Uh, they, they play hard, uh, extremely disciplined. Uh, they're a threat to one of the team. Listen, Chris, you let your team the most practice uh, they have great energy, they want to learn, a tremendous work ethic, and um, um, 